All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get this epistle started, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our beloved Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors as always to the apostles, the elders, and the sincere archim of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well, who we learn the truth from daily, whether you're here for bearing a sincere salutation as always to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, as well as the speckled bird among that number, which are the Hebrews of like foreigners scattered among the heathen that look like the heathen. And this is a, an epistle that I wanted to get into entitled Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah will fight for thee. All right. Keep your hand on the plow. And I wanted to start off by getting the book of Sirach, chapter 4. And I'm going to get it at verse 28. And it reads, Strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. Alright? Now let me get it on the right-hand side in the GNT, in the Good News Translation. And it reads, Stand up for what is right, even if it costs you your life. And the Lord Yahweh will be fighting on your side. All right. Now, the reason why it, it was on my spirit, you know, through the spirit and probably how boss me out shy to get into this epistle was because, you know, as we know, we are approaching. <clears throat> we're approaching those perilous times that Lord Yahweh shy, as well as the prophets that the other prophets that came before us spoke about. The time of Jacob's trouble and the blood of elder apostles to as well as other um, apostles and elders and the sincere argument of great millstone on down and those that teach the likewise doctrine have also been likewise moved through the Rechak Wadash to make these epistles because these are the times that we're approaching this is why you know the apostles and the elders they've called this the hopeful year you know that all the prophecies come to pass and like the scripture says, you know, you have to move as, not as fools, but as wise redeeming the times because the days are evil. All right. And you can see just by observing secular news, but first and foremost, having an understanding of the scriptures through your how about me, I shy, that these prophecies are literally right around the corner. And like the blood brother Shapada 12 said in his video a while ago, even if this isn't the um even if this isn't the year that every single thing happens you know things are going to get worse and worse if we if you know we if how boss me shot gives us another year where jacob's trouble doesn't happen this year then you know this year is just, it's still going to be crazy out here man you know they said you can expect black swan events you know the beloved brother Shapata 12 even said you can look up this video of some cia agent on his deathbed talking about you know, uh, billions of billions of planned or millions of planned to be deleted in 2024. So, you know, I remember last night on an Apostle Zahar's live stream that some some corny ass scoffer came up. I guess some zealot dude or whatever, you know, and he you know was in the comment section talking all types of bull crap. So I went on his page, and you know, dude is talking all this crap about how. If such and such doesn't happen, the apostles are false prophets and whoopty wompty and just like, you know, normal scoffer, you know, normal scoffer rigmarole ain't amounting to nothing. You know, these dudes lukewarm in the spirit. They probably do all this because they don't want the uh, they don't want to have to really go through tribulation. You know, it's, it's, it's cool for a lot of Jake's to be Israelites for the aesthetic of it, but they don't really want to go through the tribulation. They don't want to uh, be patient. And the beloved brother Ganon. At, at the uh, the DC church, he was telling me that, you know, he taught me that the word patience, when you get into the scriptures, it gets into, you know, suffering. And we know our people, man, our people want to have party Passovers. They want to uh, just, you know, uh, scoff, mock, gainsay, you know, go against the leadership, want to be the head nigga in charge. You know, it, it's just it's always been a thing amongst the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. As well as the speckled bird. But. The point is, regardless of whether you believe it or not, if Yahweh Bosh Me Shai wills it and he's given us the clear signs according to prophecy, then you'd be wise to redeem the time. All right. And I wanted to get back into this right here in verse 28 of uh, Sirach chapter 4, verse 28 on the GNT. 
on the right hand side where it says stand up for what is right even if it costs you your life and the Lord Yahweh will fight will feel like it will be fighting on your side and this is letting you know right here for any of any Akim that may be having a uh, you know misgivings and doubts about whether or not you know this really is the truth and you know are we really biblical Israelites are we really the children of the Heavenly Father how about me out shy and whatever Satan may be whispering in your ear Remember that if it wasn't through the small measure of faith that Yahweh Shmuel Shai gifted, gifted you, you wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have came this far. If it wasn't for the mercy of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you could have been deleted in a number of other opportunities. But the Lord preserved you so you can be a servant unto Him. You know, and there's benefits with being a servant of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. The same way a lot of our people think that there's only benefits. You know, and serving Esau and working his jobs and getting government benefits or whatever it may be. The true benefits is having the favor of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh So if the Heavenly Father chose you to know this, if he chose you as a vessel to put this treasure in, you know, then that means you owe him. That means that he sees a greater purpose for you than even you can see. Because if we could fully see what Yahweh Bashan Yahweh purpose was for us, then the doubt that we get in the flesh, we would be able to cast it down a lot more easy. You know, we would we probably wouldn't even have half of the doubts that we have. So just remember with that faith, read this scripture and really take it into your heart. You know, in the KJV, it says strive for the truth unto death. And it should go without saying that truth is truth is righteous. It's worth fighting for. But most of our people don't feel that way. So for those that may be, you know, faint of heart, get it in the GNT right here on the right hand side where it says stand up for what is right. And we know what is right is the truth. And the truth is the word of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. You know, even if it costs you your life and it won't and it'll only cost you this life, this mortal life right here, which is supposed to be our last incarnation. Adawan Ratazah, we be of that elect number that gets translated into the second covenant on the first go round. Mm. Salakia. But it's important to understand that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, he's it, the scriptures is telling you he's gonna fight for you if you strive for the truth unto death. So if Satan whispers in your ear and has you, you know, trying to get cold feed and trying to chicken out, cast that down in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Because look at it like this: one thing we know for a fact, Jake has been Jake in the world has been getting judged with no protection, and Jake in the world also doesn't have the comfort of knowing where the judgment's coming from. Jake in the world just thinks everything's fucking relative, and oh, uh, if I get this this uh, this 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 Capri Sun, then I won't get sick from this uh, this this sea ragamuffin. Next thing you know, the serpent comes out with his news articles telling you that the same people that got that serpent's piss are the ones dropping like flies, not the ones that said no. The ones that, for whatever reason, said I'm not going to get it. For the most part, they may have caught the sea ragamuffin but they bounced back but for the but you know on the other hand there's a good number of people that didn't get it so you got to look at things like that before you uh allow satan to draw you back into the world before you allow the spiritual demon satan to draw you back in the world through his his physical counterpart esau edom the red hebrew edomite the devil that the bible speaks of that old serpent called the devil and satan who goes under the, the lion title of being uh the so-called white man he's not white he's not the color of a cloud nor is he pure like the color white. He is the red Hebrew Edomite. He's the wicked with a capital W that the Bible speaks of. He's the one that pushes all of this debauchery, all of these daggone uh, plagues and all of this stuff. He's the sword of Yahweh Bashmi Al on the left-hand side. You know? So you got to keep that in mind anytime Satan whispers to you and have you thinking that this isn't the truth. All right? Now let me see if I can get that. I believe it's in Ephesians. Maybe Ephesians 5. Okay. It should be. Khan, the water you have watched me all shot. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 15, and the KJV on the left hand side, and it reads See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Okay? Now let's get this in the GNT. And it reads, So be careful how you live. Don't live like ignorant people, but like wise people. Make good use of every opportunity you have, because these are evil days. 
all right now let me get this in the kjv on the left hand side ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 in the kjv and it reads and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord giving thanks always for all things unto the most high and the father in the name of our lord yahweh shah hamashiach amon verse 21 submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of the most high okay now let me get that start let me get ephesians chapter 17 so like Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17 in the GNT side this time on the right hand side and it reads don't be fools then so like you don't be fools then but try to find out what the Lord wants you to do don't get drunk with wine which will only ruin you instead be filled with the spirit what spirit the Rechakwadash the Holy Spirit all right verse 19 to speak one with so like you to speak one another with words of psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing hymns and psalms to Yahweh with praise in your hearts. In the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, always give thanks for everything to the Most High, the Father. Submit yourselves to one another because of your reverence for Hamashiach, Amon. Now, both of these versions, both of these translations are accurate enough where you can apply the precepts in the proper fashion understand that you gotta understand you gotta focus on finding out what your how boss me on shot wants you to do this is why we give this diligence to make sure to make our calling and election sure this is why we make sure that we use this world as not abusing it because we understand we can enjoy ourselves when we have a free time you know so long as we're doing things that's lawful in the eyes of your how boss me on shot it's nothing wrong with getting with a woman you know it's nothing wrong with drinking there's nothing wrong with eating some lawful food, you know, but we got to do make sure we don't do too much of this in excess because you got Jake that, you know, say, Satan, understand that the spiritual demon Satan, you know, he's going to go for your weak points and he's going to use his his nation, Esau, Edom, the, the red Hebrew Edomite to go for your Achilles heel. You know, he's more subtle. The serpent is more subtle than any beast in the field. So even the things that's lawful unto you can be a snare unto you if you aren't rooted in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai if you do too much in excess which is why the scripture went into not you know dealing with wine in excess make sure that you uh fill with the Holy Spirit as opposed to you know whether it be physical wine you know strong drink or whether it be you know certainly don't fill yourself with the philosophies of Babylon any philosophy that's outside of the scriptures any philosophy that's outside of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai remember that this is this is the hopeful year that the prophecies come to pass that we end up in Jacob's trouble. All right. We don't know when Esau is going to uh, make this uh, the Haragma mandatory, the MOTB. So we have to move circumspect. We can't sit out here acting like things are sweet just because nothing happened yet. Like the scripture says that because victuals will be, so like if, because victuals will be cheap, they shall think themselves to be in good case. All right, and you can't you can't think like that. You can't. That's what the world thinks, and that's why this script, that's why this uh this chapter right here, these precepts in Ephesians chapter five, you know, this is why they're telling you to don't be like these ignorant people. The ignorant people are the two thirds of our own nation, as well as the heathen nation. But we don't care about them. This is about this is about the nation of Israel, being circumspect. All right, so make so you know this is why you have to give diligence to your Habash Me Shai, you know. And keep the faith that he will keep you in that number that receives that the wah, that mark of exemption. Because for that for uh, for that CIA agent to say what he said on his deathbed, you know about <clears throat> about uh, millions if not billions being deleted in 2024. All right, and we know how Esau gets when he's on his deathbed, whether it be the the Edomite cave beast dude or the Edomite cave beast woman. You know, once they're on a deathbed, that's that's when the truth comes out. When they when they see glimpses of meeting the creator, of meeting the, the king of terrors, then they want to start letting out their plans, you know. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashmi al Shah, he put it in their hearts anyway on the left hand side. So, you know, that's Yahweh Bashmi al Shah's way of revealing to his servants, the prophets, and those of the nation of Israel that have the ears to hear that, hey, look. 
something something you know something something's going to go down there's going to be a lot of deletion the lord's letting you know he's letting you know expect it even if you don't know the exact hour expect it so you know ready yourself in the spirit all right let me see if i can get the other scripture that i wanted to get um i believe i had See if I can get it in the blue letter. See if I can get it this way. Salaki. Victuals. Man. Let me see if I can get it this way. Ah, the Wadi Halbashmi Al Shah. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 21, and it reads, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right, so this is the point that I was making right here. <clears throat> And the apostles and the elders and the sense the argument great millstone and those that, that on down to teach the likewise doctrine have gotten into this in other videos where they uh mentioned you know when we got into those little uh those penny those uh those those burgers at wendy's that cost only like a, a penny or something like that you know people jake you know as simple as jake is they was buying that stuff up and i remember it was one jake that was saying that he was you know stuck on the toilet for a long period of time or something like that you know and that aside you know, all these different little deals and stuff that pop up here and there, you know, Jake think that things is okay, despite the fact that inflation's going up, despite the fact that dollar, you know, is likely going to collapse this year, despite the fact that this country is not going to recover from the damage, you know, and we understand that Biden is a damn clown, you know, set up to, set up to uh, basically, you know, make things worse, you know, because how about, you know, Shy, he's, he's dismantling Esau's kingdom bit by bit. But if you pay attention, even since Obama, you know, even since I believe either it was Bush or Obama, you know, those presidents really, you know, that was when this country started to deteriorate. I remember people used to say that the damage that one of those presidents did, you know, it'd take 30 years to repair or something like that to the economy. It was some one of those things. But, you know, the, the signs have been there. How about Shmuel Shah has been showing us <laughs> so lucky, that he's been making Esau bear this entire time with gradualism, which, you know, Revenge is a dish, a dish best served cold and you reap what you sow. Esau is always using this gradualism against the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, from his gentrification to, uh, you know, passing these different little laws and legislations, you know, the, the what is that, two-strike thing, a three-strike, I think it was Bill Clinton or Joe, or Joe Biden that did that, you know. All these different little things where it's like he's passed, he's always want to pass laws and legislation, you know. But now you're hot boss me all shy. He's flipping a script on him where Esau's passing large and legislation that's gonna cut that's gonna basically cut his own throat. He got it where even, you know, patriotic Edomites are getting upset with him, you know. Texas is talking about seceding from the rest of the country, you know, and what did our Lord Yahweh Shah say about a kingdom divided? The water Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Alright. 
Now let me see if I can get verse 23 right here. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 23. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. And there shall be no man left to till the earth, and sow it. And the tree shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? The grape shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men, so that one man shall desire to see another and hear his voice. All right. For of a city there shall be left ten, and two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. So things is going to get real out here, man. You can expect that something, something, um, <clears throat> what's the word I want to look for? Something that's going to shake your perception of reality is going to happen in 2024. If you, uh, if you still a Jake that's in the world or if you just an uh, individual that's in the world, period, you know? Those of us that are serving you, how bosh me out shy, meekness and sincerity, we can expect something to happen. As the scriptures say, we know in part and we prophesy in part. We know what signs to look out for. We know how to break down uh, certain prophecies, you know, depending on what measure of faith and wisdom and understanding you how Bashmi Al Shah bestowed upon each and one of us, each and every one of us, you know. And even if we don't know exactly what is the exact date, like, oh, we can't tell you, well, May 5th, some, some, something on the 25th, this and that, and on a, on the 17th hour, uh, there's going to be a, a such and such happening downtown. We can't tell you all of that, but we don't need to. That's the beauty of your how about me out shot. He simply is going to give you, you know, he's going to tell you what he needs to tell you through his servants, the prophets. And if you take heed, you take heed, you're safe, even without knowing every single detail. Because the spirit of your Yahweh me Shah, he'll put you in the right place at the right time to deliver you from that destruction. But when it comes to the wicked or those that, you know, well, they are still the wicked. When it comes to the wicked and those that scoff and mock the word and don't take heed, even though they have a prophet telling them to, right to their face, the Lord takes that as you spitting in his face, man. It he, the Lord takes that as you uh, you abusing his, his uh, the liberty that he's giving you. He takes that as you abusing the grace and the mercy that he's extending to you. You, you slapping away the olive branch. So the Lord's going to put that spirit on you, you know, whether it be in a vision, uh, you know, whether it be in a dream of the night where he sealed the instruction upon men when they sleeping in the bed, or whether it be, you know, he just put the spirit on you right then, right then and there in that moment. And then you go somewhere thinking that you're doing it on a whim, like, oh, yeah, let me go down here to, uh, let me go to Ruth's Chris. You go to Ruth's Chris and a damn waiter goes ballistic because they tired of being underpaid and they tired of customers flossing on them. They tired of the manager treating them like shit. And next thing you know, you get caught up in a damn uh, a mass shooting or something like that. You know, we ain't got, we ain't going to be surprised when things like these happen, man, because Jake don't be listening. You got plenty of scoffers talking shit, you know. I saw some uh some clown popped up in the in the uh in the Des Moines uh in the Des Moines brothers camp on a live stream, you know, talking shit. You know, just showing that two thirds of Jake gonna be fucked up out here. And that's why last night, you know, when I when I saw that happen in the live stream, I prayed to how about me out shy that when when Jacob's trouble does happen, when the out temptation does happen, when the uh when the MOTB made mandatory and you got Jake out here starving to death. I pray to Yahweh Bosh me out shot to put the spirit on me in the Akim, you know, of Great Millstone and those that teach the likewise doctrine, you know, the apostles, the elders, the elder brothers, everybody on down, as well as those that teach the likewise doctrine in other camps. That when this happens, Yahweh Bosh me out shot puts the spirit on us to not just fulfill Isaiah the sixty uh, the sixty fifth chapter, starting at the um, the thirteenth verse, you know, but also to be able to identify through the spirit who those scoffers are. Because we never seen a lot of these scoffers' faces. You know, they do that weirdo crap where they don't even put like a, a profile picture. They don't have any videos. They ain't got no works. But they got all the energy to either scoff and mock because they agents from Esau or they just agents from Satan, the spiritual demon Satan. So I just pray to you, how about me out shot? The same way these these devils will always pop up when we preach in the word to scoff, mock, gainsay, you know, try to get us off the course, distract us. I pray you, how about me out shot on the right hand side? Because he deals with balance. I pray on the right hand side, he puts the spirit on us to not help these these clowns. To, to put the spirit on us to know, hey, I'm not giving nothing to him. You know, we understand charity covers the multitude of sins. But that's where we, you know, that's where we also pray you how about you know, try to apply wisdom so we don't help out some Jake that don't deserve it, you know. And let me see if I can get the next scripture that I had. It was Alright. It was something else. Um, 
I don't want to write this out. The scripture comes back to me. Um, yeah, why not? I'll get out. I get out. I get the book of Isaiah. All right, chapter sixty-five, like I just said. All right, Dwight, how about you? Shot me right back on track. Um, all right, so this is the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-five, and I'm gonna start at verse eleven on the KJV left-hand side, and it reads, "But ye are they that forsake Yahweh." That forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. How did ye how about me? I call these these individuals through his servants, the prophets, through the apostles, the elders, and the sense the argument great millstone, and the Archimon down that teach the likewise doctrine, making video epistles, going out to the highways and the hedges. You know, preaching the gospel, letting our people know what's about to go down, as well as letting the heathen know they're going into captivity. And let's read on. Let's see what else happens. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes and did and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Oh, well, you know, this is going to make the Pharisees mad right now. I'm going to go ahead, you know, fat, fat cuz trying to eat pork and put the Lord's name into it. You know? And, and he's he's just a mere uh, poster child right now for, for a bunch of Jake that have that same spirit. You know, not every Jake is going to be as wicked as him to put the Lord's name in it. Because you got some Jake, you tell them the name of the Heavenly Father is only begotten Son. They keep saying those false names. But the point is, they still, what they have in common is that same spirit of, I'm going to keep doing wickedness. You know, you're going to keep doing wickedness thinking that you're hurting us or you insulting us. you pissing off your how about me out shy. And then Jake is so wicked, like the elder, like the elder in the auction said at camp. Jake's so wicked that they have that thought in their head where, okay, uh, the Lord, oh yeah, well, you know, well if I catch a coronary from eating this swine, you know, hey, that that's just how I go. It'll be quick. Who the fuck are you? You don't, you don't, you're not the one that even that even decided to be born. You certainly not the one that really. You're not even the one that really decides whether or not you go. It's your how about me shot that decides that. And he's the one that decides whether or not you're going to go quickly or you're going to go slow. You assume you're going to just eat that swine and catch a coronary. Nah, the Lord can make you, he can do some real colorful shit. He's called the king of terrors for a reason, but you wouldn't understand that with all them damn pork parasites crawling around in your damn brain. You know, the beloved elder Dimash Shapat, he had got into it uh, during a live stream with the apostle Rakha. He was basically saying, he looked it up. And that pork parasite is the only parasite that can pass through the blood brain barrier. So Jake thinking that they hurting us or they doing something that that's, you know, it just is what it is when they eating that bullshit, that that shit that's not even food, that abomination. And all you doing is putting more parasites in your body. All you doing is racking up more infirmities. And the blood brother I bought at camp, he got into it about how uh, he looked it up as well. And it showed that eating uh, eating swine, when a person eats swine, basically, for, I think he said for a seven hour period, their uh, immune system is, is likened unto that of a, of, a, um, of a cancer patient, roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, this is why the wisdom of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah is above, you know, his understanding is above ours, man. You don't got to explain everything to you. Do what he says just because he says. You know, we don't need a damn explanation. You, you get an explanation from from men. You get an explanation from from uh, other mortals. But from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, you do you do what he says. All right, but you have to have the spirit on you to do that. Reading on, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord Yahweh shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. All right, verse 16, that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the power of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the power of truth. 
because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from mine eyes. All right. So this is this is the the hope that we have as servants of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. And even then, we still say Adawan Ratizah, we be of that elect number. You know, because yeah, we pray that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai gets us through Jacob's trouble. But like the blood of brother Shapar the Twelve said, and I share the same sentiment, and I'm pretty sure other Akim share the sentiment as well. We we just want to be able to you know. Through, you know, through the, the mercy of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, we just want to be able to survive unto salvation. You know, preach this word, famine of the word come, we get preserved. You know, from the troubles that's coming. And Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, we just pray that we, our names are written in that in the Lamb's Book of Life. And since no one knows, you gotta constantly give that diligence to make your calling and election sure. You can't be, you can't slack. All right. And let me see if I can get um. I'm going to get this once again, Isaiah chapter 65, and this time, verse 11, starting in the GNT on the right-hand side, and it reads, But it will be different for you that forsake me, who ignore to Zion, my sacred hill, and worship Gad and many, the gods of luck and faith. All right, so this, you know, getting into our people, getting into idolatry, doing every, you know, <clears throat> And in a broader sense, it gets into any false way that our people are following that's not the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. You know, that fake ass Christianity, that fake ass Judaism, fake ass Islam, that Buddhism, Santa Maria, all that African gods worship bullshit, all that idolatry is folly. Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, he's the one that determines whether or not you live or whether you get deleted. Those idols don't even exist. So all you're doing is being stupid. <clears throat> And you having the Lord get upset with you. So when you finally do realize he's the true living power, it's going to be too late. You're going to be back in the spirit world after deletion by pain. Verse 12, it will be your fate to die a violent death because you did not answer when I called you or listen when I spoke. You chose to disobey me and do evil. <clears throat> See, the Lord's making it plain upon tables for y'all. No damn excuse. If you don't understand the old English, you understand this English. Verse 13. And so I tell you that those who worship and obey me will have plenty to eat and drink, but you will be thirsty. So like you will be hungry and thirsty. They will be happy, but you will be disgraced. They will sing for joy, but you will cry with a broken heart. My chosen people will use your name as a curse. I, the sovereign Lord, will put you to death, but I will give a new name to those who obey me. Anyone in the land who asks for a blessing will ask to be blessed by the faithful power. Whosoever takes an oath will swear by the name of the faithful power. The troubles of the past will be gone and forgotten. Amen. So this is what we work for. We don't want to be numbered amongst you, uh, you transgressors, amongst you rebels. You know, you thinking that, you know, you like no matter how much you get told, even with secular knowledge that the so-called white man Esau Edom, who is indeed and in fact and in reality the red Hebrew Edomite hates you no matter how much you get showed by him told by him that he hates you he's not going to tell you outright but in some instances where you have these these nothing ass Joe six pack washed up shriveled up Edomites that just are outright you know blatantly racist towards Jake and they let you know they don't deal with you they don't like you no matter how much you see these examples You'll give them the olive branch. Okay, well, not all Edomites are bad. You don't even call them Edomites. You still, your dumb ass still calls them white. No matter how much you keep calling them that, they still show you that they're wicked. That their souls are pitch black. Evil. No matter how much the ones in power show you that those people on the bottom are just a product of that spirit that the entire nation carries, you still don't get it. You'll scoff your own people that are the true, the true children of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, you as well. But the difference between you and those of your people that's warning you is Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, he appointed them to be prophets unto you. And like the beloved brother the Des Moines, Iowa camp said last night in the live stream, you know, these scoffing ass jakes, y'all niggas are just jealous. You may not say it, you may not even comprehend it, but in the spirit, you're jealous because many are called, but few are chosen. And yeah, you understand that there's people that came and came and went out of the truth, you know, but you niggas wasn't even called. You're not even a part of many a call. And it was beautiful that through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al that brother brought that point out because <laughs> the Lord has been putting the spirit of patience on a lot of Akim to do this work to not even entertain these damn scoffers. 
but they still do need to be rebuked and told. So when it happens, when the shit is the fan, you already know. Don't don't even waste time asking one of the Arkham for help, man. Don't even disrespect any of the Arkham any further than you've already had by asking them for help. And you don't even want to listen to your how boss me out shy. Ain't nothing we can do for you. The Lord's not going to let us help you out. Let me see if I can get that preset too. See if I can get that. All right, this one is a little different when it comes to that. All right. Get it right here. So Moses and Samuel. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Then said Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said Yahweh, such as are for deletion to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are for the captivity to the captivity let me read verse 2 again jeremiah chapter 15 verse 2 and it reads and it shall come to pass if they say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith yahweh behold salakia such as are for death to death such and sock it and such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are for the captivity to the captivity verse 3 and i will appoint over them four kinds saith yahweh the sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy and i will cause them to be removed into all kingdoms of the earth all right, and I'm gonna stop right there because that's the point that I wanted to get. The Lord is basically is gonna he's not he's not dealing with you, Jace, that take it for a joke. You're abusing the grace period, man. Lord Yahweh shot went on the cross for a bunch of ungrateful ass niggas like you. First and foremost, he went on the cross for the elect of the nation of Israel. All Israel will be saved eventually, but on the first go around, it's gonna be the elect of the nation of Israel because two thirds of our people they don't want to listen. You know, you got a portion of the two thirds that uh that fall out the truth. But the bulk of the two thirds, they hear the gospel and they never even come into it. They mock, they scoff, they talk shit. And like the Ark said at the Des Moines, Iowa camp, you know, you most of you niggas weren't even part of many are called. So you, that means that your how about Shmiel Shah, he's not you're not even on the level. He's not giving you spiritual power. He's not He's not making you more precious than fine gold. He gonna leave you out here a simp, you know, bending over backwards for the for the woman, for the end of, while she out here putting every rod in her mouth, got you out here paying for this and that. You think you flossing because you got some type of money in Esau's kingdom. You know, you think that makes you a man? Nah. Nah, because when the dollar collapses, any man that don't have this truth, that don't have your how about me out shy, it's gonna be like a woman out here. All right, let me get that scripture. All right, we got the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse six. And I'm gonna start at, so like, I'm gonna start at verse five in the KJV. And it reads, Yahweh is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled to Zion with judgment and righteousness. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Now, this is beautiful because uh, this goes, when you get verse 5 and 6, it does, it can get into that precept where it lets you know that Yerushalem, Jerusalem, is a people before it's a place. Because if he's saying right here, that he has filled to Zion, Zion with judgment and righteousness. And we know right now, Zion, Jerusalem has been occupied by the devil that the Bible speaks of. These Amalekites, the, the Tic Tac hats that are pretending to be us, those rats over in the Holy Land. 
We know they don't have wisdom because they're not moving in righteousness. So what is this precept talking about? It's talking about the nation of Israel in all four corners of the earth, wherever they may be scattered. The Wadi Haobash Miao Shah. And this is the vanity of the heathen. They think by taking our physical landmass and our possessions, stealing our Ark of the Covenant, that they're going to get some way into the blessing. They're just, just through, man. Just fucking through. Now, let me get this right here in the GNT. Isaiah chapter 33, verse 5 in the GNT on the right-hand side, and it reads, How great Yahweh is. He rules over everything. He will fill your Roshalim with justice and integrity and give stability to the nation. He always protects his people. Possessive. That's a possessive right there. He has his own people and gives them wisdom and knowledge. Their greatest treasure is their reverence for Yahweh. And we know those gutter rats over there in the Holy Land, they're not reverencing Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. All right, for those that's stupid and don't study, like two thirds of our people, they're content with just letting these rats say that they're the chosen people. You know, Jake don't even want to be great. Jake want to be a homeborn slave, you know? So these people over there, we know they're not reverencing Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah because they're doing it in the way that the wicked of our people used to reverence him. Just thinking that they're saved by calling themselves. A, a, a J.E.W. and doing uh, physically doing customs of our people, but trying to mix it with all of this other idolatry and and heathenistic bullshit. And because everybody's under this heavy witchcraft, save for the elect of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah, no one questions it. That's not reverence of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. That right there should let you know that they're not the people. If you truly love Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, it should vex you in your spirit that you got these damn, these uh, these P files over in the Holy Land saying that they're us. Just like in the world, if somebody, if some, if some lame ass, some clown ass dude was trying to say that he's on your level, you would get offended. How much more are these damn, these pieces of shit, these Edomites, that's ruining the world. And saying, in every in every two seconds, you got a damn a Edomite cave beast woman talking about what 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 the Jake man is doing, like that 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 gutter rat over there to try to say the pro they going through a whole thing over there in Gaza, you know they got their little thing going on with that with that group Hamas or Hamas whatever you call them, and they wanted to say the problem is the problem over with, with Israel is uh, the so called African American youth in America. That's to let you know they the damn devil and the accuser of our brethren that the scriptures speak about. We all the way over here in the West, they over in the East, in our Holy Land, pretending to be us, and we still the problem. Esau, <laughs> Esau is the original, you know, just like you see those movies with those drug dealers, you know, the, you know whether they be a Jake or, or a heathen drug dealer, you know, those movies where they do so much dirt they can't sleep at night and they still gotta, you know, always do something else stupid. You know, they, they still got an issue with somebody who's at their lowest state. That's Esau, man, to a T. He's showing you that he got that guilt. He knows Yahweh Bash Miao Shah is not dealing with him. All the money in the world can't save you from the indignation of Yahweh Bash Miao Shah. You can get the account in the book of uh, 1 Samuel and see just how, how much King Saul started to bug out when the Lord took the spirit off of him. But Esau never had the spirit. So imagine never having the Chakwadash, never having that comfort. Always walking around like a damn beast. A damn wood wolf, a cave beast. And now... You're, you're approaching the end of your kingdom. You're, you you are at your zenith. You already reached your zenith, and now it's all downhill from here. That's it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of your how about me out shot. All right, the Wadi how about me out shot for bringing the wicked down. There was another scripture that I wanted to get. Let me see. I don't want to write this out. Comes back. Ah, the Wadi how about me out shot. All right, the Book of Psalms. Chapter 68. And I'm gonna get it at verse 20. Alright, the water y'all bust me on shaft. Psalm chapter 68, verse 20 in the KJV on the left hand side, and it reads, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh the Lord belongeth the issues from death. Alright. Psalm chapter 68, verse 20. In the GNT on the right hand side, and it reads, Our power is a power who saves he is the lord he is yahweh our lord who rescues us from death all right so ultimately this is what our people need to understand these idols 
following Esau's uh his his haragma, accepting that 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 haragma in your in your right hand or in your forehead, you know, getting down with his system, betraying your brethren to Esau, turning your back on the truth, going back into the world, getting in bed with the enemy because you got hurt after getting rebuked and you got kicked out or whatever. Mm. Salakia. All of that stuff is gonna do is gonna show you how Bosch Mio shot why you deserve the sword. It's not us you rejecting. It's it's not the the, uh, the apostles, the elders, and the Sinciak and Great Millstone and those on down and teach the likewise doctrine that you <coughs> Salakia, that you're rejecting. You're rejecting Yahweh Bosh Shem Yahweh Shah. And the fear of doing so is not gonna hit you until it's too late. So this is why we gotta be loyal to Yahweh Bosh Shem Yahweh Shah, strive for the truth unto death. Alright? The truth is righteous. You got to understand that even if you survive, what are you surviving? Even if you betray your brethren, what are you going to buy yourself? 20 more minutes in the grand scheme of things to be here in a polluted ass world that's getting worse. A world where people can't even move freely anymore. Can't raise your children. You can't deal with women without potentially catching a damn uh, so-called incurable disease because they've already let it be known that people that took the serpent's piss, you know, that thing replicated its own version of, of the uh of that of that H disease, you know? That one that they said, you know, was that, that incurable sexual disease. So what's the point of being here, man? Yahweh Bash Mel is throwing you all of these these uh these breadcrumbs to lead you unto the path of salvation, man. But this is why our Lord said, you know, narrow. Let me see if I can get that. Straight, you know. The This is the book of Matthew, chapter seven, verse thirteen, and this is rare letter. So it's Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach speaking, and it reads, "Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it." Aman, and that's why we give that diligence to make our call and election sure because we don't know. All right, we don't know, and we see that we already understand the elect is a far smaller number than the two thirds, and the very elect are an even smaller number than both. The one third is a smaller number than the two thirds, and within the one third, the very elect, the 144,000, those mighty men, are an even smaller number. All right. So understanding that we know that we know all the snares that Esau is going to put out. We know that he's going to make it more appealing to go his way. He's going to make it terrifying. He's going to make it uncomfortable. But wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our time. We got to have fear of your how about All right. All right. Let me see if I had any other scriptures right here. Yeah, I think that might be it right there, but hopefully this lesson was edifying to the elected nation of Israel, to the hopeful elected nation of Israel. Once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our beloved Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our beloved Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors as always to the apostles, the elders, and the sincere Arkham of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well. Who we learn the truth from daily, whether you're here for bearing a sincere salutation as always to the hopeful elected the nation of Israel, as well as the speckled bird among that number, which are the Hebrews like foreigners scattered among the heathen that look like the heathen. Kwam Yasharala and Ababa Ball. We almost out of here, Adawan Ratazah, and we got next Adawan Ratazah. Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh, Achad. Shalom.